Hello everyone, I'm Lucy from Library of Lucy and this is my February wrap up and my March TBR. So I'm combining my February wrap up with my March TBR because February was not a good reading month for me um, for a few reasons. First of all, I moved back to uni um, and I never get anything done when I'm at uni and then secondly I got Covid for the second time and I was so so ill with it like I could not even move um it was awful um and I don't ever want to go through it again but that is the second time that I've had it and it's just so annoying being at uni you can just catch anything it's horrible but I'm feeling better now but that did mean that in February I didn't read as much as I would have liked so I don't have that many books to speak about for my wrap up so I'm just going to put my March TBR in here as well. Um, so yeah I'm going to start with the February wrap up. So the first book that I read I did vlog and it is Lighter by Stephen King. This is my first Stephen King book that I read um, and I loved it. I'm pretty sure I gave it five stars. It was great, it was scary, it was short and I read it so fast and I just, I loved it. Um, this is basically about a boy who can see ghosts and his, his mom's ex-girlfriend um, is in the police and she basically needs help solving this case and she uses the boy, Jamie, who can see ghosts to basically solve a few cases um yeah it was really good i know this is a weird first stephen king to read um but i am really glad that i read it and he does have more of these like shorter crime books and i do want to read more of them so yeah first one five stars the next book i read was also a five star read and that was shatter me by tara maffey i think i also vlogged this one this is so good. This is like a dystopian um, YA romance fantasy kind of vibe. It's like, basically it's about this girl called Juliet who can't touch anyone. If she touches someone, then they die pretty much. And um, they're basically living in this like dystopian type world where there's this thing called the re-establishment and it's basically trying to take over civilization and they they take Juliet and they want to use her to help destroy the world pretty much <laughs> that's a really bad explanation um but yeah I loved this book and it kind of influenced the rest of the books that I read this month <laughs> so the next book I read was Unite Me, which was, it's the, it's like book 1.5 and 2.5. They're two short novellas. Um, I did count this as two books in my like journal and my Goodreads and stuff because it is technically two stories, but they're just put into one book. Um, but yeah, this is basically from the point of view of the two kind of love interests, um, Aaron and adam is that his name yeah i'm pretty sure his name's adam um but so these are the two novellas from their point of view and i'm pretty sure i gave the one from aaron five stars and the one from adam definitely not five stars i'm pretty sure it's quite low i'm gonna have a look yeah so i gave <laughs> fracture me which is the one from adam's point of view i gave it one star <laughs> um that's a really low rating but it was literally only like 50 pages long and I don't like Adam's character so I literally only read it because it's in the series and I felt like I had to read it but I probably could have done without reading it and been just as fine to carry on the series without it I just I don't like um Adam <laughs> so yeah but anyway <laughs> Then I also read the next book in this series, which is Unravel Me. This one, I don't really remember what happened actually. <laughs> this one was 
it really brought it back after reading Adam's um, novella. I gave this one five stars as well. This is the third, technically book two, but it's like Shatter Me, then one of the novellas, and then this one. So it's kind of three, but technically two. Um, but yeah, I really don't have anything to say about this one because I don't want to spoil the series for anyone. Um, but yeah, this is book three. The next two books I can't really speak about that much um because i'm doing a different video on them but i read reminders of him by colleen hoover and also verity by colleen hoover like i said i can't really speak about them because i am doing a different video but i gave reminders of him four stars and verity five stars i really recommend verity to everyone it's like a thriller romance and it's incredible i highly recommend it also a not so honourable mention. Um, I did start to read The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I was doing a buddy read with Tori from Tori Between Pages but we both hated it. We got like 100 pages in and we just couldn't do it. It was just... I just can't. I, I, just can't. I don't understand anything about that book. It confuses me and it upsets me. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, these are the one, two, three, four, five, six books that I read in February. So there's the wrap up portion done and now I'm gonna move on to my March TBR. Okay, so the first book, actually the first few books, should probably not come as a surprise, um, but I do wanna carry on reading the Shatter Me series. The next book in the series is Ignite Me, which I'm planning on starting like now, like today, <laughs> um, and then it's Restore Me. And then the next one is Defy Me. I think I'm hoping that I can read all three of these in the in this month. Um, I think there is still like three books after those three. It's a big series. Um, but yeah, I just really want to carry on this series. And so yeah, hopefully I can read at least these two in this month. I don't have any more books to hold up for you because they're at uni but the next book that I want to read this month is the next book I want to read this month is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Mass. that's the first book in the Crescent City series um I haven't read it yet and I did pre-order House of Sky and Breath for when that came out so I do own both of them now um but yeah I haven't read the first one yet so I do definitely want to get around to that this month I don't know much about this book, but I know it's fantasy. It's Sarah J Maas. I love Sarah J Maas. Um, I think there's like vampires and like loads of like different types of fae in it. So yeah, I'm really excited to get to that one. Um, and finally, I am continuing my reads of Colleen Hoover. And so the next book I want to read this month is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Okay, I have the synopsis on here, so I'm just gonna read you the synopsis of this one because I do not remember what it was about. Um, so it says, when Tate Collins meets airline pilot Miles Archer, she knows it isn't love at first sight. They wouldn't even go so far as to consider themselves friends. The only thing Tate and Miles have in common is an undeniable mutual attraction. Once their desires are out in the open, they realize they have the perfect setup. He doesn't want love, she doesn't have time for love, so that just leaves the sex. Their arrangement could be surprisingly seamless, as long as Tate can stick to the only two rules Miles has for her. Never ask about the past and don't expect a future. They think they can handle it, but realise almost immediately they can't handle it at all. Hearts get infiltrated, promises get broken, rules get shattered and love gets ugly. So that sounds like a friends with benefits to lovers type situation, which I love the sound of. Um, and obviously I need to carry on my reads of Colleen Hoover. As you saw, I read two of hers this month. Ugly Love is next on my list for March. So yeah, I, I'm not setting myself a big TBR for March because I know that I just, it just won't get read if I set myself a huge TBR. I am sorry, it's been a few weeks since I uploaded, but I'm back. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.